We'll try it. What point does Pick Your Poison become a main deck card? I think the more that people are splashing the Leyline Scion stuff into everything. Like I saw McWin Sauce 5 0 last chance qualifier playing Leyline Scion Merc Tide. So Pick Your Poison's becoming more and more main deckable. Master, thank you for the Prime. Welcome. Um, I think I might just be hard casting this Scion, so I'm just gonna go Rogue and try on Overgrown Tomb. Perfect. Pretty soon, my Scion will be unkillable. Did I pick your poison in the main? I think I commentated that match, and I didn't even see the main deck pick your poison. That's cool, though. And that probably explains why they cited that as a you against creativity. Having all those pick your poison effects, you probably don't need both Besejus. Put a card on top. Archaeologist. Bins Grief Grief. Grief Grief sees a grief. It's all grief. Always has been. So I take the second archaeologist and I take the ephemerate. Prismatic ending doesn't do anything. Me and my life linking grief are going to go the distance. Honestly, I forgot the pitch truck, so. Yeah, I, mean, I should take it fours. I completely blank that they could pitch a drug, so that's my bad. I should have taken Force and then taken probably Ephemerate. I don't know if it's going to make a difference. I guess now that they've been to the Troxa. Response to this, I'm going to Leyline Bunning the rebound. Yeah, I should have taken Force, and then I should have taken probably Ephemerate. Backstreets. Bin's Hedge Maze. So they need to find Gorius off the top like this turn. Sad. Definitely messed up here. The flex out user link's not working again. Um, it's working for me. I know they're working on the back end of the website to make it run faster. They revealed Solitude, Solitude, Gorios, Gristlebrand, Godless Shrine, Flooded Strand, Grief, Force Negation, Water Grave, Marsh Flash. So they missed on the Ephemerate. Redirects you to the homepage. I got Solitude, Godless Shrine, Force Negation. Definitely not out of it yet. What do you think about Animate Dead and Modern? Probably too strong, right? I don't really think we need any like better reanimation in Modern. Between Gorios and Persist, it feels pretty good. What I think I would like instead would be like a better Entomb effect. Maybe like actual Entomb. This one. I choose this one. Force of Negation. Yeah, I don't really think it needs it either. But I mean, if we did...
Oh, I also missed on an ephemerate effect. I do think I want to take Shadow Prophecy. Brief Leyline Binding Planes, maybe. Having a bottom of Gorios kind of sucks. Maybe I should have just taken Grief over Gristlebrand. Hardcast, hardcast Grief probably gets there. Take Scion. Solitude. I guess Bone Shards may have been better. Having a backup plan is sweet, though. I don't know what kind of graveyard hate they're going to have, but I really really like Turn the Earth in the matchup, so we're going to bring in the Turn the Earths. Could bring in Kavu as well. I think the fairy's good. Got these ley lines. Just roll with Scion. Although, double Scion off a of ley line is pretty much unbeatable. Oh, yeah, record, record. True, true, true. Oh, win 90. Take some Kavus. Force it buried alive. I think it would be cool to see, like, a Force of Entomb. I don't know, Force of Buried Alive might be too strong. I'm not happy with this hand. Not really. I'm gonna keep it, though. Oh, would I do would be some unreal dedication to the archetype? This build. This is the correct build. Owen eighty nine. Are we getting looting back? I think Mason Clark suggested that there should be a looting that costs three mana on the front side and one mana as the flashback. But I kind of feel like that'd be more powerful than actual factual faithless looting for these dredge decks. Surgical my scion of Draco. Bye scion. I remember you, buddy. Sometimes lucky. Yeah, two reverse lootings in the bin with the front half. Stitch of Supplier, ETB, Mill 3, and Tomb 3, Vengevons, your turn. Force of Buried Alive, yeah, I don't know. Or bin 3, Arc Light Phoenixes. Oh boy. Would it be an instant? I guess if it were an instant, you could go evoke grief, sacrifice grief, bin three arc light phoenixes. Bomb it. Are they sorceries? Bless. Hopefully they'll have another surgical. If they do have another surgical or force negation, so be it. Can't really grief them. Alright, we won the match. We did it. I don't think his hand does enough. This one does though. Chad, do you think I put back a Troxo? Put back a Troxo. Looks like mill. Maybe mill. Bottoms two. Pokemon trading card game on Game Boy no color. Holy bitter blossom.
chat. We've entered the Bitter Blossom bracket. How's Bitter Blossom stack up against Leila and Sion? Pretty well. They can jump block, right? Oh. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. No, don't do it to the poor opponent. Gross. So gross. Of course. Pitching Fairy Mastermind. Okay. Still playing. Modern needs a tomb, he says. Fetching a dual land that cast in tomb for free. Yeah. You're right. Hey, Ants. Good afternoon. War bounce. Can I recast this? I think I can. Green, white, blue, red. Cast my ley line. Go. You lost your points. I thought you were always a doubter. If you were always a doubter, you would have won points. I want Kabu in the matchup. I don't really know what the matchup is, but Kabu seems pretty playable. Yeah, Shadow Prophecy's probably fine. Maybe take Bone Shards out. Fairy's probably pretty good as well. Maybe I should Grief instead. Who with me? Not a great draw. Dothy Voidwalker. Five five, your turn. Let's get against Gorios. So traditional Gorios that's playing like just Esper and not Scion Leyline stuff. I would say Yogmoth is good against it, and probably also like Tron. I think it's pretty sweet that this format has turned into like a zoo Leyline Scion amalgamation. It's pretty neat. And discard a Droxo, otherwise they just cast a Droxo. I guess it goes in every deck, you put it in the Heliod combo. Yeah, it does go in every deck. Yeah, it does. Sounds next ban. I don't know if it's Scion or if it's Leyline. Death Shadow next. <laughs> Life linking Death Shadow. I'm so dead. Unless. I think I'm still dead. I'll draw a guild pack to not. Is it time to remove Kahira from Blue White Control? I think this package might just go in everything. And I mean, like, literally everything. Red, green. The hardest part about this is just, like, figure out how to tap for it. If I counterspell this, I'm dead.
Emery Deluge. I'm going to give it a Teamer Battle Rage Death Shadow with a Shadow Spear. Next donation deck incoming. Leyline Scion Death Shadow with Urza Saga. I'm just going to go to one and surveil. I got to find like Leyline Binding here. Bid my Atroxa begrudgingly. I'm just a fairy. I think this is Jerry T's list or something very similar. A lot of Atroxes. Alright, they are playing many Dothies, so let's take the Celestial Purges back. Trimagorios and Trim Atroxa. I want this Bone Shards back in over Tainted Indulgence also. Yeah, I, uh... We're gonna play the Steam Core build next. Oh, Bulldingo, I missed you as well. Welcome back. Eight months. These are not keepable hands. Um... I keep this hand. Maybe I want to keep the Gorios as well. No hammer anywhere. Yeah, Travis had a really tough weekend. Shadow Prophecy. Scion off the top. Mayhaps. Not only is it the blue fable, it's the blue fable that you get to ephemerate. Bitter Blossom. Thought that was going to be a Dothy for a second. I was like, ooh, I'm dead if it's Dothy. Pretty fine against Bitter Blossom, though. You can ephemerate fable. I guess when it flips, you can ephemerate fable. How often does that happen? Not very often at all, though. GG, I was the Bitter Blossom. I'll remember you. Join Creativity 1 a game against Gorios. Did Gorios fail on itself? Because that happens sometimes. Scion. It's a Scion. I willed you into existence, buddy. Me and solely me. Don't get edicted. No! They timed out. <laughs> there you go. Crack the code. Second Scion. Oh, I willed you into existence also, buddy. Love calling my own shots. Nothing brings me more satisfaction in life. Except for when my hotkeys don't work, which is like right now. Six and chat for my hotkeys. Can't F6 through the turn. That's what Shadow Prophecy. Or Fairy's opponent. They're even playing Utah on their list too.
Pikachu Ed Spell Stutter Spray. Sacrificing four tokens to this one Scion. Yeah, Bunny, your opponent's playing fairies. Your favorite, I know. Yeah, I guess Dothi Thossies would be a problem. I mean, Thossies would just kill them, though. Hey, right, Odawara. Some chump blockers. Hey, Sprouts. They give the eight months. I'm working on it. Breeding pool. Eh, no land. One has three turns to kill me or remove their own bitter blossom. Seems tough for them. Especially since they can't use spot removal on the Scion. Yeah, they scooped it up. We did it! Vivon! I keep his hand chat. What do you think? It still has two Leyline Bindings if I do Miss Land Drop. Okay. We're gonna try it. Because we also have Shadowy Backstreets. A bit Shadow Prophecy, kind of scout what they're doing. It kind of looks like creativity so far. Might be Jun creativity. Expect to run into a lot of it. Blood Crypt. Tapped. Run at 6, maybe, next turn. Untap Stomping Ground. Does your pet deck suck? Try slapping on the Flex Seal of Scion of Draco plus Leyline of the Guild Pack today for immediate results. Terms and conditions may apply. This lander controls time to shine, baby. Ensnaring bridge, sign of Draco, your turn. <laughs> I'm gonna think I need to binding this just so they don't haste an Archon. Also gonna spot check for what you call it. Fidurian and Fable Ren and Six. Take Fable. No persist says of yet, but I'm very scared to persist. Pretty good hand they have actually. Might be tough to beat. Yeah, this is Jerry T's list. Second bitter reunion. Maybe I shouldn't have binding the bitter reunion. Might have just been a spew of a binding. I was just afraid. Scared and afraid. Persist me. Surveil second archon to the graveyard. Surveillance are broken. Rises list only plays like one. I guess they were playing triumphs. But one seems like so few. A bunch of people going 1 4 and 0 oh, 3. Sounds like a good Reddit thread, to be honest. Poor Lantern. Just can't catch a break. Ever. Don't persist, don't persist, don't persist. I got persisted. Edge. And in six. Oh boy. Ah, Shaisa. A 
the tour board. Bet you're thrilled that Jun Creativity won Hydro Burton. I did not expect Jun Creativity to do that well. It's your fault, Torborg. All your fault. Okay, okay. I'm coping. Gorios? Not Gorios. My grief. I think Jun picked up some, like, interesting tools in the Surveil Lands. Hard to go wrong with, like, Brandon Six Fable in general. Down to seven. Really wish I had another Surveil Land here. If I hit the Gorios, I still have a chance this game. What if we played fairies? What if we didn't play fairies? Ditch. Rix's flame fairies, two shieldred, four preordain, four counterspell, four fable, four bitter blossom. It's a lot of slow enchantments, Bunny. A lot of slow enchantments. Alright, let's take these two in the earths. I think I want Kavu's as well. Maybe Kavu's just like main deckable. I think Solitude's okay. It's kind of Gristle Brand. Bone Charge is pretty cuttable as well. We're gonna have like Leyline in the Void. I think I want Celestial Purge. Maybe go down to Gorios and then the Droxa. Have that be like my plan B. My plan A is just like Scam Zoo. That'd be interesting, but I don't think I want to ferry. I'd also just cut Solitude and just rely on Binding to kill Archon. I'm going to put Kavus in the play. What's up, Curb Bros? One of the modern decks of all time. Modern's crazy right now. Honestly, I feel modern definitely got more fun after the banning of Violent Outburst. The format is really open right now. Some of the gameplays kind of feels bad, like obviously Ring Loops are feels bad. Some of the Gorio stuff feels bad. At least it's open. Enigmatic in modern all the crazy enchantments. I think enigmatic's a little slow. But enchantments seem like they're in a pretty good spot right now. Spike was doing really well with his like sign of Draco Leyline enchantment deck. Because there's not a lot of ways of dealing with enchantments outside of like the Besedru decks. Which the Besedru decks are more combo decks than Red and Six decks nowadays. Yeah, the format's open, but some of the decks in the format are really feels bad. Is that ever going to change? Eh, maybe with Modern Horizons 3 it changes. Yeah, we're going to play that next bunny. I would say, you know, Violent Outburst being banned was definitely a good thing. A step in the right direction. Yeah, back to nature is obviously the safety valve for any sort of enchantment deck to be good, but as long as enchantment decks are fringe, nobody will play back to nature, right? I don't even know if I should care about this Ren and Six. I kind of feel like I shouldn't even care about this Ren and Six. Instead, just like put them on a two-turn clock. What's the meta share of Mill for people who play against Cyborg Emrakul? I don't know. I actually didn't even look at Mill's win rate on the Bonner Matrix from Hunter Burton. I'm gonna peep that. Mill, 50% exactly. Somehow Mill is better than Merktide. 
Fucking embarrassing Merktide. Step your game up, please. You're making everything else look good. Have to been the ephemerate. Did not feel great there. Kind of figure I'm getting veiled though. Yeah. You like Shadow Prophecy? It feels weird. It does feel a little bit weird. But I think if there is a build to play Shadow Prophecy in, it's probably this one. I think they're dead here. Keep that real quick. Those of you interested in the modern matrix, by the way, for Hunter Burden, I'll link it in chat right now. See the Murktide Draco list? Yeah, the one that Mick Wynn saw us, like, 5 to last chance qualifier with. If I don't get to that today, I'm going to play it tomorrow. Based. MTGO, three challenges and four preliminaries, two paper events on MTG Melee. It says Gorio's is the best. Gorio is 9.8%. Domain Zoo, 9%. What was the win rate for Gorio's? Win rate for Gorios was 53%, 54%. Scapeshift had a 61% win rate. But the confidence level's unbelievable. Not a lot of data. Hi, Hotashi. Did you enjoy it? That microphone was scuffed as hell. It sounded like I was eating the microphone the entire time. Keep this. Hey, Coleman. I was hungry. <laughs> Probably a mistake to keep this. Done Creativity 1 and Murpho got 2nd. But there were 8 different decks in top 8. Not Murpho. Feels bad. Merfolk was kind of crushing, though. It was sweet. Bit of reunion. They decided not to discard. I'm concerned. It didn't. Yeah, like, Merfolk is good against both Tron and Titan. So it just had, like, some dream brackets. Honestly, I think I'm keeping this on top because I'm interested to see what's in their hand. Even though this doesn't do a lot. Take your poison, creativity, ran in six. I choose creativity. Ran in six doesn't do a ton until they actually hit the fetch land. Once they hit the fetch land, it's going to be an issue though. I was going to play it and tick it up for the ult. Scion's not very good here. I'd rather have Kavu. Scion's going to get my poison picked. You completely dodge Yogg and Titan. I didn't play against Titan. And I definitely didn't dodge Tron either. So much Tron in that room. So many Oog in the Spirit Dragons. We got PTSD from Toon 4 Ugin. Leyline's the new Beanstalk. Not quite that bad. These Leylines don't make games take forever. Larynx. Coming up with the pseudo-dono deck. 
Rockman Dothi, Bowmaster, Sidebinder, Grief, Shieldred. Looks like this is Tidebinder scam. Okay, we can play this. Sure. We'll finish up this league and then play that. We can lose to a single red and six old, aren't I? Something good off the top, please. Maybe they don't have any lands. Or anything to creativity. I think I'm gonna fetch the thin though. I think hitting seven lands into a trox is not a viable strategy for this particular game. Sometimes it gets there. Celestial Purge. You're an instant, right? Okay. Don't want to mess up. Have this not be an instant. Guys, yeah, thinking now versus upkeep. I don't think matters too much. X proof from blue and black. Exiles ran in six anyways. Giga Chad Veil. Vale. Now they probably thought that it just gave a hex proof from everything. Turn the earth. Okay, pick your poison is really strong. I wish Veil of Summer. No, I don't wish Veil of Summer was like Green Surge of Salvation. I take it back. It sounds awful. Why is the link showing me the list? Let me tell Jabor. It's going back to like the home screen, right? Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Gotta go complain to my manager. Yo, Cager. Maybe Kage. By the way. Think of the nine months of me mispronouncing your name. Appreciate you. Welcome back. Something relevant, please. Pretty relevant. They've been that pick your poison. Wow, I don't know what to get here. Is it planes? Ah, uh, everything I get here. Gorios binding. I think if I'm getting Gorios, I gotta take Kabu also. Because I don't have any target in the graveyard. I think it's Plains Kabu. Do you think it's Draco? They've been to pick your poison. I kind of feel like they have another pick your poison. I do want to leave up turn the earth. I think it's Plains Kabu. So I'm also one land away from hard casting a Troxo. Not being correct. Sound does pressure the red and six better though. I'm getting bolted. Respect. I just feel like I need to leave up turn the earth also. So these gas prices in California, you're preaching to the choir. That's why I never leave my house. In Zarkon. Oh, am I getting it to turn some earth? Consider your earth turned. My Discord notifications are popping off. Oh, it's Jabor saying he's working on it. Nice. Consider your earth turned. Sorry, sorry, I forgot to mute my Discord. Triggered like half a chat. <laughs> I want him to bolt this Kavu. I don't think so. I think I just take the damage. Pinging me also.
I guess it's hard gas to time. For a fleeting moment, I believe somebody was interested in communicating with me. <laughs> Only but for a moment, I felt human. All right, let's take grief. That ley line to pitch. Gorios. Let me see. Purge. Take celestial purge over Gorios. I think. Well. Yeah. Yeah. Take these. Lightning bolt persist. Pick your poison. I don't want to just take bigger poison. Bolts me. What's up, Nesco? Doing well. Finally back home. Playing these man made horrors beyond comprehension. They think anything more cringe than Amulet Titan with Guild Pack's eye on. Goes in everything. All right, just a fable. Heal. Oh, Scion. Scion, you beautiful soul. This Atroxa has first strike, hexproof, trample, flying, vigilance, death touch, lifelink. Attack, Exodia. Obliterate. Yeah, for a boy. It's super cool to meet both you and J Dog. I think it is. I don't know if Modern's healthy right now, but it's kind of fun. Probably not healthy, but kind of fun. Alright, opponents of GG's. Yay, 3 0. There's an eight player cap on an RCQ. It's a one slaughter. Six rounds. That's crazy. Alright, we'll keep this and we'll put back basic swamp, I think. Slightly embarrassing when I play the veil. I figured you thought it was um kind of like how surge works, where you get like hex proof from everything, and then you get like prevention from black and red. Veil doesn't quite work that way. I don't know why it would be six rounds. It says locked six rounds, locked eight players. Playing like somebody twice for sure. Hey, Nuke, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Nakato. Actol. I should play Scion, or should, if I should go for the Tainted Indulgence, Benetroxo. <laughs> Every tournament, single Elim, if you have bad enough mental. Damn. I've been there. I almost 1 0 dropped the league the other day. Sometimes you're just not feeling it. Kavu? 1 0 retire from Magic. I think I'm just supposed to binding this Kabu. Although it's not advancing my board. I do get to sur I don't get to surveil. I have to get overgrown too. I'm surprised that this list doesn't have an underground mortuary. For like this exact scenario. I'm starting to think it's correct just to like splash Leyline Draco and everything. I don't know what to do here. I think I'm just gonna go get a tapped overgrown tomb. And avoid getting stubbed. Definitely feel like plus one underground mortuary would be a big addition to this list.
Leyline Draco Mill, here we come. Somebody told me Leyline Draco prowess the other day. And it's kind of just been living right free in my head. Can't be good. <laughs> Baby. Just kidding. I think they're going to binding Kavu probably. Or binding the binding that has Kavu underneath it. So Draco was like a 10 10. <laughs> Two mana 10 10 flyer. God, I hope so. I heard Legacy is going to be taken over by uh, that new sloth from Fallout. Is that true, chat? Apparently, go like turn one Yabamaya, turn two Dark Depths into the Sloth. Not on MTGO feels loading, man. Ah, yeah. MTGO needs to like really incorporate these legacy cards if they want it to remain consistent with paper, which I guess they don't want it to happen because they're having a big sticker deck issue with, um, Name sticker goblin paper also. Because you should technically bring a sticker deck even if you aren't playing stickers. I keep that solitude. Just try to stay alive here. been a Troxo. Yeah, I definitely should have been a Troxo instead. Don't travel flames me. You like reveal the sticker deck at the start of the game or something like that. And then it makes your opponent think that you're playing goblins. I don't know. I don't know exactly how it works, but I know it's an ongoing issue in the paper legacy. Red Bolt Solitude, sure. Oreos? Oreos! Mud decks playing Metamorph, and they can Metamorph a Sticker Goblin. If they do, they need a Sticker deck, basically. Well, there you go. Mana, Sign of Draco. Spare. I wish I had more Surveillance. I'm going to one. Uh, same if you reanimate it. So if you like... Yeah, that's not great, right? Cast reanimate on name sticker goblin, then you need a name sticker deck. Take the pick your poisons, the solitude, subtlety, to fairy. Got a prophecy can go. Crystal brand can go. I want the kavus. I kind of feel like you can't reanimate name sticker goblin. Honestly, I don't know what the paper name sticker goblin says. I know what the Moda one says, though. I want Purge as well. I'll try without Kavus, but I feel like a little bit light on wind conditions. You can't put stickers on permanents you don't own, so it doesn't make mana. Oh... But if you metamorph it, then you own it. So then you can do it. Gotcha. And it enters anywhere else other than graveyard or exile. Okay. This is why I don't follow legacy anymore. No, it just says when it ETBs, I'm getting mixed signals. Um, sure. It's a little slow of a hand, but got some answers. Try to make the MGO version play like the paper version minus stickers. 
They should just print a new version into paper that works the same way. Hey, your pal Andrew, thank you for the tier one of the three months. Hi. Thank you so much. And more than nine stickers. One mana to do. Triome and then Overgrown Tomb. I have all the colors. It's probably going to Celestial Purge like a Kavu here. Hopefully, it's not in the Ashiba Brawler. That would be quite inconvenient. So, get like red blue here. Take three, get Kabud on. Yeah, is the flex out wink working again? Because uh, Jabor said he was working on it, but I don't know. Oh, he fixed it. Okay, yeah. Just fixed it as of three minutes ago. That's why Jabor's the goat. Just passed the turn. I think I'm going to run the Teferi out if he's going to pass the turn. Well, that means they have stub up. Guess I should not yield. I might want to evoke subtlety. Probably not, but maybe. Air Center's fine. Not worried about that. Edge base. In Savai Trium, so they don't want black mana currently. It's kind of interesting. They can play this to surveil. Or I can draw my surveil land naturally. No more lands. Alright, Goonie, we'll do Geoguessr at the end of the stream. Got you. Jeez, Mr. Skittles. Fun games. I think I let this Nicodle come down. Do I let two Nicodles come down? I guess. I suppose the worst case is I can just, like, subtlety jump in front of one of them. I'm gonna both go phase. Try to think of the follow. Bone shards off the top, mayhaps. Would be nice. I love seeing Zoo play all these surveil lands too. It's like even the aggro decks are just like gimme card selection. Surveil land in burn, mayhaps. Both had Teferi, okay. Yeah, you can kill Teferi. They did been a Savai Triome, so I'm not convinced that they're Triomeless completely. I think they're just cooking. Just cooking with their mana base. They bought him the Brawler. Pretty happy that they decided to go after Teferi instead of me. Teferi wasn't really doing that much. Curious to see if they, uh... Want to trade here? Probably. So Ephemerate makes subtlety pretty valuable, but I think I just need to trade and keep my life total high. I'm looking for like land or looter. Preferably land, I guess. More Nicodles. I have Reprieve in hand. It's really bad. 
think that was the worst draw. All right, we'll pass. How did everyone's a lot of fun? That's painful to watch. Why do you think it's painful to watch? Plan? That actually works, right? Been that try to Gorios. Yeah, the technical issues were bad. I mean, the microphones were super scuffed. It kind of got tossed on commentary, like... Without really knowing that we were supposed to do commentary that day. That was a pretty good draw. Let's see if they have, like, an answer here. Line binding. I went four and four. Not great. Right, so I get two Atroxid triggers here. Let's take Scion, Solitude, Ephemerate, Land. I played Yogmoth. I gave Gorios to PT. His cor uh, PT's cards didn't come in in time, and he wanted to play Gorios. So. Reef. Leyline. Gorios. Pick your poison land. It's here. And Sion. I think we're in a really good spot. Worst case, I can solitude my own Atroxa. Yeah, PT was the homie that was sitting next to me during the Belcher match. So I played Yogmoth all weekend. It was okay, I just lost to a lot of Tron. Alright, we got a game two. Cool, cool, cool. I want these Kavus. There's so much Tron, so much Tron. I don't want to fairies. Fairy was kind of good there, but it seems kind of slow on the draw. Let's do this instead. I think Kabu might be a good blocker. Hopefully, I just open like Guild Pack Leyline, anyways. Pretty close. Here. Maybe I wanted to cut some ephemerates. Solitude ephemerates still very powerful though. Oh my Scion. My big Draco. Can can cast my Draco at least. Four Kavu, meet five, five Kavu. Rip Solitude off the top. 
<laughs> Tron's a little bit slow. But Tron's also just like... I don't know. It's got an answer for everything, right? Once it stabilizes the game with Ring. That's not great against Yogg. I think it's fine against Yogg. I know the Wind Matrix says that, like, Yogg ended up being positive against Tron, but I think it's pretty even. As long as you can avoid getting Fulminator Mage looped. But I think the win rate of Tron versus Yogg depends on how many Ugin the Spirit Dragon the Tron player comes packing. They have, like, two or three Ugin the Spirit Dragon. It becomes a lot harder for Yogg. I am in danger. This is another rock bottom. Kavu. Elected not to cast Kavu. I think I probably just need to, like, Tainted Indulgence. Try to look for Solitude. I don't think this is going to resolve, though. Probably just has stub off of a treasure token. Or not. Yeah, that's tough. We're going to one here. We're probably dead. Imagine they have either Bolt or Rival Flames. I thought his hand was okay, too. Guess it was too slow. Kind of had two dead cards in it with these Ephemerates. But if they don't kill us, we could find Solitude, potentially. Shadowy Backstreet. Are you gonna kill me? You'll be calling for my unban. You'll rue the day you banned Violent Outburst. You'll rue it. Jin's a brawler. Alright, draw to exactly Solitude. Alright, let's go Solitude. This one's you. Oh. All that suspense. For nothing. Oh, I messed up the count. Thunder, thank you for the five gifties. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Very generous. I messed up the command. Um, I think I'm going to keep this hand begrudgingly. Oh, his percent count. Elf. Putting two scions in all of our pet decks. Uh, soon to be more than two. Hi, Droxa. Pitch Lorian. We keep this on top. Good night, Thunder. As a former living end player, should I buy another paper deck before Modern Horizons 3? I have game objects, so I still play something if I wait. Um, up to you, really. I think Modern Horizons 3 is probably going to be pretty format warping. But I wouldn't let it discourage you from, like, not wanting to play something you want to play right now. There we go, start playing copiers for Scion. The grief that couldn't. Or grief. Rest easy, buddy. I got hose this game. Subtlety counter spell to fairy. Pretty good guards. I'm going to concede to that. I'm 
want to go up Kavu's again. Kavu just seems really good right now. Maybe you want to like main deck Kavu. Maybe board like this. So I want to pick your poison. And we'll be fine. I guess you go down an ephemerate also. I'll play one pick your poison. Kavu does discard a Troxa. It loots. Miss Luris. I wonder if Luris would disincentivize people from playing Leyline Scion. Probably. But also, don't, I'm not convinced that most Luris decks are able to beat the Leyline Scion stuff anyways. I feel like maybe Hammer. Your Sword and Shield, thank you for the Prime of the Four Months. Welcome back. Appreciate the continued support. As always. A weird one. I don't think it's a good one either. Main deck pick your poisons. And Luris builds. See it. In like... Jund or whatever. Don't rest in my peace. Yeah, we're going to play a True Heroes list at some point today. Maybe tomorrow if we don't get to it today. We do have a Dono deck to do it before that. Of Grixis Scam. The prophecy must be fulfilled. Counter spell. Poor shadow prophecy. Um, force negation. Probably pretty likely. I think I just grief them. I don't really want to run this into Force Negation. I'm going to take my entire turn. Rather get subtlety to Hollow Moonlight, Solitude, Ring, Ring, Wear Tear. Take the Hollow Moonlight. No one had Charter Cores. I was thinking about just like a blue black version of Goryeo's playing like Merc Tide Regent. I think that would be like kind of cool. I don't know if it'd be good, but it'd be kind of cool. So you could play uh, the Mono Blue Blink effect over Ephemerate. Oh, that's pretty good. I think I still just go for the Goryeo's now. And attack them, but that's probably whatever. I think I just grab one sweat teeth. I can't grief him. That's right. Uh, almost messed up. Yep. Probably still a good exchange for me, though. Now when they go to play the ring, I can binding it. I have two rings under two bindings.
Another binding Leland in the guild pack. I guess I've been Marsh Flats. Although Marsh Flats lets me just cast a Troxa. Maybe it's been Leyline then. I think this Leyline has diminishing returns at this point. Probably better just to hold on the land and be able to cast a Troxo. Binding this. Edge. Hey, Thailand. I can go white, black, surveil, try to top like a Droxa or something. Something impactful. Not you. Okay. Okay, okay. Love to see that. So take these. And grief them. Solitude Narset. I'm gonna take the solitude. Narset's kind of annoying, but solitude's just a clean answer to Droxo. And that's an annoying card. Yeah, they line something. You're probably finding another answer for this Atroxum. So maybe I'm supposed to take Gorios instead of Ephemerate. In case they find like Supreme Verdict here. But I think they boarded out most of their Supreme Verdicts. The Fairy Bounce. It's not a great answer for them. Gonna shock this in and leave a white mana. Oreos. The fairies free Kavu guild pact polluted delta. Done, and I'm just gonna ephemerate it immediately. Draco, pick your poison. Atroxa. And swept teeth. I think I'm bidding you, well, bin a track, so. Land. I guess late line too. I don't know if I'm supposed to bin a Troxa and leave it in the graveyard for Gorios if I'm supposed to just hard cast another one next turn. Yeah, play set of <laughs> Scions revealed. Oops, all Scions. Yeah, good old peaceful dingo by the fire. Okay, well, rest in peace tells me I probably should have, I guess, held on to the other Troxo. I can pick your poison the ring. The fairy bounce. Can't rebound here. I don't know if I have another land to get off this polluted delta. Start with Teferi. Subtlety pitching dress down. I'm going to put it on the top. Attack to Fairy, and I think I'm going to bounce a Troxa.
I'm second artifact. I think I'm out of fetches. Yeah. I also realize now I have 18 cards left in my deck, so maybe I wasn't supposed to bounce the Troxa there. Maybe I was supposed to bounce Grief instead. I put one card on top. Did another ring. Did another ring. I was supposed to bounce my own Leyline Binding. Might have been better too. Yeah, I definitely should have bounced my own Leyline Binding, I think. We're going to Leyline Binding to Fairy. The Fairy. We bounce my Leyline Binding. Play Kavu and just like pass. It can draw with ring and then untap it and draw two. Which I guess it's only one if they have to do it in response. Yeah, Archer is charm sweet. I agree. Oh, has so many rings. Stop, opponent. No more rings. Madge. Yeah, I was thinking Prismatic Omen is probably not the worst right now. I played it in my last build escape shift. I don't want to cast Tainted Indulgence because I'm a little bit concerned about decking out. Sixteen cards is a lot, but it's not like a ton per se. I'm probably gonna take sparingly with this Atrox as well. Grief scrape, ephemerate. Scion. Just leave it at that. I got Bitten Gorios. Is that a one? Mainline Binding Lorien. Take the Lorien. I think the Lorien might be a bigger threat. Is that going to take in Leyline Binding? And then take in Lorien by Ephemerating the Grief? Thank you. The setup was like kind of scuffed, so it sounded like I was eating the microphone, but overall I didn't think it was too bad. I didn't even think I was going to do commentary that day. Kind of just asked me to, and they were like, hey, we need somebody for commentary. You want to hop in? I was like, yeah, all right, sure. But like in a good way, like at a, you know, eating the microphone with purpose. Flavor was it? Kind of just like foam. I don't have enough win conditions. I definitely should have ephemerated this grief. How many is my deploying next turn? I guess the ring's also kind of a win condition for me. Your turn. Everybody gets one. Who's gonna deck out first? 
My opponent with 12 cards or me with 9? The grindy game. Alright, cast Lorian. 10 cards left. Did you find the replacement ring? I'm fairly confident they're running out of rings. Okay. Concede. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Was that game one? No, that was game two, right? I got swept game one. They got a Gorios. I feel like Atrox is good, but Gorios is kind of bad. Draw one billion cards. Give up. You got late lines of the matchup. I was thinking about it. I could see why. I try them anyways. Five five, your turn. Hopefully they don't have the fairy. Looks like Insta Slam to Fairy. Oh, it's just Narset. Bless your soul, Narset. Thank you for not being Teferi. Can't loot while this Nars heads out. Oh, I'm supposed to save this for Ring. And just ignore the rest in peace for now. My kill is the fairy. I think I've been the first to draw, so. Yeah, silence just for the mill matchup. Pick up second Atroxa here. Maybe it's just grief. I guess it's just grief. Also, don't hate pick your poison, but I do have Leyline Binding already. Silent wins the clash against Recross the Pets. Oh, right. Does win the clash. You think they have Verdict? If I don't respect Verdict, I could just run out the other Kavu. I think that's overcommitting pretty hard. I guess I should attack and loot away this Leyline anyways. That was a mistake. I should have attacked here. Oh, that doesn't cost me. It might. Rest in peace, hollowed moonlight, subtlety, subtlety. I have to take one of the two subtleties. I back yesterday. Ain't indulgence. Um. Reef is all colors. That's pretty spooky. <laughs> fresh kale, no. Not the ads, fresh kale. 
They give the nine months of the prime. I appreciate hanging out with you this weekend. It was a lot of fun. Hey, uh, I don't know what to do. I guess I'm just going to taint indulgence again. Subtlety, I'm going to put this on the bottom. I'm really looking for land here. Old full art rainbow grief. It's pretty sweet. It actually looks really cool, right? Grief is all colors. That sounds like a philosophical quote. Grief can come in all colors, shapes, and sizes. To avoid grief today, consider visiting the one ring sucks.com for more information on how you can defeat grief. Another subtlety, pitching counter spell. Still on the bottom. So if I cast the second Atrox and the counter spell me, I'm in so much trouble. That's the link to your merch store. Was it ring? What's the command for it? There it is. It's actually just a picture of me. I was thinking about turning it into a merch store, though. So I want to thank you for the nine months. I appreciate it. Welcome back. Oxy came down. Bye, Oxy. Ephemerate, Ephemerate, Grief, Grief, Gorios. I think I've already played Land for Turn, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I played Land for Turn. It's not a very good pile. I they have Hollowed Moonlight and Rest in Peace in Hand. Adam. Supreme Verdict. I think I unfortunately have to leave him with rest in peace. to get for the one ring melting i wanted to like make some merch of like karn throwing the ring into the volcano into mount doom i think that'd be sweet gotta hire ben to do it there's that rest in peace back in solitude Okay, I'm rebounding here. Yeah, I saw that. Land, land. The fairy. The fairy, to fairy, to fairy. Interesting. I bounce like subtlety. I could bounce the line binding and then binding the ring and then at least reset it. With it. We're about to see. Thanks, Skip, for the 12 months. Welcome back for the tier one. Appreciate it. Sorry, I, I mixed that up. Dyslexia did. 
Thank you for the tier one. Welcome back for the 12 months. Surveil, surveil to fairy, bounce Gorios, or bounce surveil Gorios for the win. I wish I had that many surveil lands. Wouldn't be better just to bounce the ring. Well, then they get protection again, right? If I bounce Leyline Binding, then at least they don't get protection. So I think balancing the Leyline Binding might be a little bit better. I don't know. This is the grindiest game, though. They're also by Kahira. They buy and play Kahira. See, this binding is also four mana for them. If the binding is going to be four mana for them, that's like taxing a significant chunk of their mana. They might just have to get rid of Ley Line. Yeah, they tear the Ley Line. Like a hero. Tax to fairy. I'm just gonna let the fairy die. I value having this on a little bit more. I on go. It's not binding too. They could binding this other scion or binding Kavu. I have a think of the tier one of the thirteen months. Welcome back. Such a long game. Dakin. Still going. But it's at one. I feel like I'm trading grief for a solitude. Sedge. I think I'm dead. I'll tap a little better in blue. Pretty good. That was so many lands. Tough. Now we're back home. Back in California. Sorry, believers. Didn't get there. Hunter was, uh, it was fun. I didn't do very well. I went 4 4 with Yogmoth. Let me grab that Grixis scam list. Have you peaked? Bing bong, bing bong, bing bing bong. Have you peaked? You're a third rate duelist. I can't take it anymore. <laughs>